If you don't walk with me Okay, so we are here with Ellen Robert from Life of Agony, who are on tour in Europe right at the moment. Hello, how are you? I'm doing well, how are you? I'm very, very fine. Um, uh, you are on tour now for very quite a time, um, but uh, the last album first, which was uh, after the reunion, uh, is five years ago, so um, are you thinking about really uh, releasing a new one in recent time or something? We're thinking about it, um, but we're not actively working on it right now. Uh, we just released a um, double disc set uh, called 20 Years Strong that celebrated our 20 year anniversary. And um, that's out through Ice Cream Records. And there's a DVD um, with a 30 minute documentary on the history of the band and interviews and backstage stuff. So we're excited that that's out. Um, we have some ideas for new material, but. Um, The Broken Valley record took a full year of our lives to between writing and recording and releasing and, and supporting. And I'm not sure we're all uh, able to uh, give that kind of commitment to take a year out of our lives from our other projects and our families and this and that to work on a new record because that's really what it takes. You need that kind of commitment. And... Um, We all have a lot of things going on, so I'm not sure if this is the the perfect time to put everything on hold, but uh, we're definitely talking about it. But so you enjoy touring at the moment and being back anyway? Yeah, sure. I mean, uh, there, you know, I think a lot of the fans want to hear those old songs anyway. Um, so in that in that respect, you know, the fans are getting what they want and. Um, And we enjoy touring, and um, you know, every time we play is a new experience, anyway. So we're we're living in the moment. And uh, the new box set is called 20 Years." Um, I think you cheated on that one a bit because when I count the years together, mm -hmm. and minus the time where we weren't together, mm -hmm. I'm coming to uh, 17 years in total. Just you round you rounded up uh, since the the moment you you were founded or how did you that? No, we we started the band in 1989. That's when we started playing shows. But you've been on hiatus in between 1999 and uh, 2003. Uh, you count those years with them? Yes, I, I think so. I mean, we still, uh, you know, we're, we're thinking about the band and 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 uh, and working on the, as a band maybe in different uh, configurations. Like we we did tours as Life of Agony without Keith and without Sal, but it was still Life of Agony, things like that. But, um, you know, the, we started the band in 1989 and we celebrated 20 years in 2009. Here we are in 2010, still here. And we are glad about it. Yeah. And uh, can you imagine uh, Life of Agony playing without any of the four actual members? Not at this point. You know, I think we've We've done that already, and it doesn't work, and we realize it doesn't work, and it needs all four members to uh, have that special chemistry on stage and in the studio. So I don't think you'll ever see that ever again. So if anybody of the four drops out, there will be no more Life of Agony. That's correct. And so you, uh, you're very busy, uh, not only with the band, because you got uh, a comic series out, I think. It's called uh, Wire Hangers, The Wire Hangers. Uh, you did New York, uh, some art school in New York, I think, uh, visual art school in New York. Mm -hmm. But um, I read the liner notes for River Runs Red, and you, you uh, wrote something about um, the, uh, four wasted years, and you never will do it again. Why is that? Uh, when I was attending uh, School of Visual Arts uh, in the early 90s, before Life of Agony started touring full-time, um, it was before computers were big and this and that and uh, a lot of the the uh, professors that I had at that school were actively working in the art field at the time and it seemed like they weren't eager to share their knowledge as much to the students because they didn't want any competition in the art field and uh, you know there was a handful of really good teachers but Overall, I would say that it, it wasn't a good experience at all. And it actually, I went there to become a comic book artist, mm -hmm. and I came out wanting to be a musician. 
to just like put the art on the side and that's what I did you know we got the uh, Roadrunner um, deal in 92 and um, we were touring later that year and uh, is this uh, better for you nowadays when you doing the comic series well, that, you, that you visited the school well, back then or do you say that it was completely um, lost years I had some um, some good cartooning teachers like Walter Simonson who worked on X Factor mm -hmm. um, and Mighty Thor and he was a great teacher um, because he was actually doing comics and you know wanted to see his students uh, succeed but um, you know that was so many years ago that I've adapted different styles and different techniques and um, um, a lot of work on the computers uh, really really helped me along to create the comic series and it's like a dream come true for me because I never thought I'd have my own series so you know I teamed up with IDW Publishing who puts out 30 Days of Night and G.I. Joe and Transformers and things like this and um, and released it worldwide and issue 4 comes out in September and then it'll be compiled into a graphic novel that will be uh, available in November. And is it a success for you? Yeah, issue one sold out completely and um, issue two is only a, a few hundred copies left in the world. Um, so it's going very well. I think another Life of Agony record will sell out completely too. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. Yeah. Um, so uh, uh, Joey C got uh, his own studio running I think. Mm -hmm. uh, I does this come in handy for you? Do you use the studio to rehearse or something? Um, I actually recorded two songs with my other band, Spoiler NYC, the punk band. We did two songs. We, we did uh, Suicide Hotel, which we also did um, a video for. And um, we had a great time recording it there, yeah. And um, I come back to uh, River Runs Red now once again, because it's the anniversary. And the lyrics and the whole record is, is, is uh, quite depressive and it's uh, all about suicide and, and ending it all up and uh, I think for a debut album it's very remarkable don't you think? That's just what we were going through at the time you know it's, it's all about real stories and real experiences and you know that's what we were doing at the time and I guess Roadrunner took a chance on it and took a chance on us to um, to really bring it to you know bring it to the world because you know we were we were doing well in our area in New York mm -hmm. and and up and down the east coast we would go and play and uh we would draw a pretty good crowd at at one point in Brooklyn at least we were we were drawing more people than some of the headliner bands that we were opening up for mm -hmm. and i think that's what got roadrunner's attention and and uh got us signed you know so the times were pretty hard for you as a band or personally before personally. that personally yeah the band was was you know that was the highlight of our day to go and rehearse at the studio um and you know we would go into the rehearsal the local brooklyn re rehearsal studio and invite our friends and our friends would just come down and start slam dancing and and making asses out of it out of themselves but um we had a good time you know i think you have to change rehearsal rooms uh, several times because <laughs> because you had too many people going in there being hopping around and yeah. poking and yeah. something yeah. yeah in fact we went to Sal from Life Agony Sal had a rehearsal studio called Counterpoint uh, Studios in Brooklyn and we used to go there for a little while and he didn't he didn't like it too much when all our friends would show up yeah, <laughs> yeah. okay so um uh yeah that's quite all I had to ask to you. Uh, is there something more to say to our viewers and readers on Stormbringer? Um, <clears throat> well, the tour is going really well. Um, this is, we're about halfway through now. The very first date, um, we did a Polish Woodstock in front of 500,000 people. And it was the biggest show that we ever played. And there's, um, there's footage on the lifeofagony.com website of it. Um, it's pretty amazing stuff. In Poland, was it? Yeah, in Poland. Yeah. So everyone should check that out. It's pretty cool. Uh, you should go to lifeagony.com, and we have about five videos up there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we hope the live show tonight will kick ass. Mm -hmm. 
and keep people hopping around and yeah, annoying their neighbors. <laughs> and, all, yeah. and hope you have a good time. So thanks a lot.